Now before you make a website, you're going to need a domain name and that involves a lot of thinking up what that domain name could be going to a site like GoDaddy and then looking around and, and thinking up and testing and generating this stuff and ChatGPT could just help you do it. So I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to generate a bunch of ideas for domain names here's how you do it all right we got our prompt right here you would run with something like this you would say to chat gpt i want you to act as a smart domain name generator i will tell you what my company or idea does and you will reply to me with a list of domain name alternatives according to my prompt you will only reply with the, the domain list and nothing else domains should be max seven eight letters should be short but unique and can be catchy or non-existent words do not write explanations, reply okay to confirm. Let's see how, what this does. It says okay, great. We could also use this type of technique for other things, but let's go ahead and tell it what we wanna do. So I'm gonna tell it that my business sells real estate house flipping courses, right? Okay, and we have domain names, boom, right there. I didn't really like the quality of those. I don't think they're long enough. So I said, hey, can you go up to, you can go up to max 12 letters. And then I said, reply okay, and it says okay. So I'm gonna say in my company is I review fishing gear. Okay. And some of them are still a little bit sloppy, but I could literally just ask it, uh, give me 10 more, right? And it will throw yeah, Fish Gear Pro, right? Fishing Gear Advice. I bet you all these are taken, but it still gives you some options to go look up based off of what you do. I'm going to tell it that I do a service based business like carpet cleaning. Let's see what it comes up with. Yep. Got some great names right here. Carpet Cleaner, Enville, Nashville Carpet Cleaner. I don't like the .net. I could tell it only give me .com examples, but I could just take the .nets and just do the .com myself. It wouldn't really be a big deal. And there you have it. Really simple, short and sweet video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.